today I have an unboxing for you from a company who contacted me to ask me to do some reviews of their products. And I don't have my thing up on my table because my husband took it away because he didn't like the shot. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this bag open with the scissors and then um, I'm not, I'm going to double check and see which company before I say the company name. Okay, I'm pretty sure that the company's name is Craft, craftiesart.com. Um, and they contacted me and asked me to review their products. Um, back in August and they shipped this to me on the 26th and I just received it today which is September 9th and let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got go ahead and open this one first All right. All right. So the first thing I see is that they have poured glue, which is awesome. I love that. And how do you open it? <laughs> it is apparently misty proof. <laughs> Hello, where do I open you from? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, whoo! And then it ripped. I'm like, I don't even know how to open it. Okay. Let's just see if I can get it slid out. Come out! <laughs> okay, so go ahead and Unroll it. Alright, so we got a toolkit. Um, nothing extraordinary about the toolkit. Um, green boat. Pen. Pink pen. Alright, so then let me go ahead and roll this the opposite direction to see if I can get it to lay flat. Alright, and we've got a beautiful butterfly, and of course if you guys know me, you know that everything I love is rainbow, but maybe you don't know that about me, hence my table that is now rainbowy. <laughs> uh, so it is a 30 by 40 of a, butter of a rainbow butterfly, and we've got... Regular symbols, number one through nine is its corresponding one through nine, which is awesome. I love when they do that because it's nothing more maddening than to have number three be number one. And then you're like looking all over, getting confused. Um, they use regular letters. The only thing that I might have an issue with is how dark K is because they used a black Hey, in it but honestly there's nothing else on there like it so it's kind of pretty obvious as to what the, the letter and the color is um, since there's it's not um, super heavy with the colors there's 20 colors on this canvas and we're gonna go ahead and measure it to see if it is true to size Let's see, it was supposed to be, what, a 30 by 40? So we've got about a 35 by 25. So it is not true to size. The canvas size is the um, 30 by 40, is what measures 30 by 40. 
Why is there a piece of her? Leave me alone. All right. So, so the actual canvas, not the, not where you're drilling at. The drill field is 25 by 35. So there's that. The drill field is definitely good. Good. I want to just go ahead and let you see. You can very pretty much read everything. The only thing, like I said, was that one dark one. And then we've got loud noises. So we are going to see what kind of drill quality they are and they are round drills so I am not seeing any any issues no divots no trash but we know that sometimes um, when we first glance at them um, everything is fine and then when we look later Sometimes we find that stuff we didn't see. So I will definitely be completing this and doing a post review of it. So we've got some reds, got black. Okay. So they do have the DMC code on the, the grid for this one, um, on the canvas for this one. They don't have the DMC codes on the bags, so um, I usually use my Xyron sticker maker to make labels, so I would take a picture of this, put it on there. When I'm done, I will be putting these into plastic baggies and storing them. We have gray, a medium gray, a light gray, peach, a yellow, we've got Dark purple, medium purple, light purple. We got some light blue, red, green. Some more, is that orange or red? Some more red. We got like a brown or purple. Looks brown to me. Peach, teal, like a coral color and Wow, how am I not surprised that we've got three bags of the 3865s. Yeah, this background is going to be amazing to do because I have learned how to use a multi-blazer, you guys. <laughs> um, And then we got like a... A teal, a darker teal, and a darker purple. So, I of course saw that this. Um, I love butterflies and I love rainbows. So, hence the the rainbow butterfly tattoos on my wrist. So, when I saw this, I was like, "Yep, I've got to get that." So, I definitely look forward to doing this one in the near future so i'm gonna go ahead and set this aside for now and we're gonna unbag the second one Ooh, don't fall. all right put that away and Now we've got this number two. This one does not have the DMC on the canvas. So I'm hoping it has them on the bags, but sometimes they don't do that. And then I have to just figure out what to do with them. Um... All right, so go ahead and undo that. Same, same thing for the toolkit. Go 
go ahead and roll this one up. All right, so canvas number two is <laughs> butterflies. Shock, shock, you guys, shock. <laughs> so I saw this image and um, hello, rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> so I thought it was beautiful and decided that I wanted to, wanted to get it. So I went ahead and ordered it and let's see sorry my tape measure got tied in a knot i just want to confirm that this one is probably the same size once again poured glue still um so this one is a 25 like i said it's like is there Pretty much always, if they don't, if they're not true to size, they're pretty much always 25 by 35s if they're a 30 by 40. So, um, they measure out the canvas size when they, when they measure it instead of just the drill field, which if I had any recommendations for the company, um, as of right now, I would say that I would alter how how it how it says that it's sold so i would say instead of saying this is a 30 by 40 i would say that they should list it as a 25 uh, 35 by 25 or 25 by 35 just because um when we as diamond painters see the size of the canvas we um or when we purchase we're thinking that the that the drill field size is 30 by 40 not that the canvas size is 30 by 40 because when we look at that for framing purposes we are looking to see well will it fit in a frame after we're done diamond painting because some of us i.e myself i frame or um put on canvases or do something like that with them so it's always nice to know actually what actual size i'm gonna have to get to frame or to stretch your bar or whatever so that's um, just one of my things. And I'm not sure why um, sometimes these canvases print with the um, DMC numbers and why sometimes they don't and why they're so different on each, um, each one. I mean, it's the same company, so I don't, I'm not sure why they don't stay consistent with their printing unless I don't know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna speculate but I and, and also as a as a diamond painter and, a, and to give um some light criticism for that as well I would say that to make all of the canvases like the same across the board so um, and, de and we definitely, as diamond painters, want to, most of us store the excess diamonds, our drills. And so if we don't know what number to put them with, then we have to figure out something else to do with them. And most of us don't like to just throw them away because environmental and, you know, or just, you know, you can use them for another craft or another type of art or another project, but... You know, like, I actually sometimes, um, use, um, you know, a different program and it, it makes smaller, like, stickers and stuff like that, so, uh, or, um, cover minders out of my excess drills, so if I don't know the DMC code, it kind of makes it hard to be able to use those, um, in excess so that's just my two cents on that um so far i think the drill quality is really good so i would i would really like to keep the the drills but um the bag does not have the dmc code on them either so these would literally have to be um like i would have to try to match them 
But with the dialogues being so different, it would make it, it nearly impossible to make sure that it's the exact color. And sometimes you have to hold a flashlight to the color to even see if there's any kind of a difference. So, um, I think the drill field is really good. I don't see blurry symbols or um, anything like that. So, go ahead and hold it up. So I think that I think that it's good for the drill field. Um, I can see all the numbers and all of the symbols in the numbers, so I don't see anything. Um, M might be a little harder to tell because there are um, multiple blues on here. It looks like so, um, but honestly. It's not gonna, it's not gonna affect me really. So, we've got some purples and blacks, a uh, dark blues, a lighter purple, an orangey peach color brown, like a dark blue, a medium blue, pink, red, green, cream, Blue, dark blue, orange, light blue, we've got a dark pink, a light pink, and we got yellow. We, this, this diamond painting has 19 colors, which is a good amount of color for a 30 by 40, so that's always good. I... I'm not seeing any trashy drills. I do see that some of them have the little divot marks in the back of them. Um, but I haven't had any problems with the ones that just have divots. As long as they don't have any parts sticking out of the sides, then they should not have any issues with popping or anything like that. So, um, this canvas did have a little bit of a fraying issue. Um, so, not only, only one spot, so I'm just going to cut this off. And honestly, to me, this isn't going to matter because when I go to frame this and hang this, I'm going to cut it down and put it in a, in a frame anyway, so it won't ha I won't have the, the issue of it fraying. Oh, there's another, another one on this side fraying a little bit, so... I just cut them off um, so that they don't continually fray, uh, fray at the um, edges. So, but um, overall, I give this company, you know, like a a really good review um, because I'm not seeing anything, any issues with it. Like I said um, before, they number their numbers one through nine. They use normal eight, alphabet alphabet numeric symbols. Um, this doesn't have a lot of colors on it, so they don't need to use all those crazy symbols, but, um, they seem like they are good quality. I will come back further and when I complete and do a review on each of these paintings and let you guys know, um, how, um, I felt when I was doing it and what my final thoughts are on it. Thanks for watching guys. I will link their link in the description box below if you want to go ahead and take a look at what they're selling and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.